Hello, welcome to this short series on how to use a pocket notebook. If you have one of these, you might find that you learn some new ways to use it creatively. For more tips on how to use a pocket notebook and for a, a complete rundown on how to set one up and, and be creative with one, go to Amazon and find my new book. It's called The Pocket Notebook Book. There's a link in the video description so you can go and view the book on Amazon. But you don't have to buy the book. Just enjoy this video and the rest of the series. I want to expand on an idea from the book around self-scoring. We've talked previously about developing habits. We looked at daily ticks and tracking data, pages read, weight lost, and so on. This technique takes that concept to a slightly different place. Now the tick is good when the behaviour is binary. You either went for a walk or you didn't. Data tracking works where there is a convenient numerical value. Pages read, minutes spent cycling, whatever. But what about lifestyle changes that aren't binary and don't yield convenient empirical data? For instance, I might want to become more active generally. Use stairs when there are lifts available cycle to the shops rather than drive, stand up periodically while I'm working at my desk. I could work out a whole series of, of metric numbers to measure that, but it would be difficult and time consuming. So I choose instead to award myself a score at the end of each day between one and five. Five means I took every opportunity and was highly active. One means a bad day where I did nothing. Here is what my week might look like. At the end of the week, I can take a look at my performance, decide if I'm happy with it, and think about what score I might want to aim for next week. Once I have a few weeks of scores, I can do some deeper analysis. What are the trends? Are particular days more challenging? What can I do about that? Moving this up a gear lets you score yourself on multiple initiatives at the same time. It's a weekly table to track everything in one place. So there we are. Remember my book is available if you want to get more tips and tools. But for now, goodbye. I'd love to read your comments and uh, hear what you think about this video. And of course, likes are always appreciated. Goodbye.